Hey guys, how's it going? Today I have another video for you on the Taurus G2C. Now, if you guys remember, about a month ago I did a video on this gun with the initial shots and part of that was me shooting this 20 round Metgar P226 mag for the SIG P226 and I had some problems with it. And this was pertaining to using this mag only with the Tula steel cased ammunition. Now, I would note, and if you guys haven't seen it yet, go back and watch the older video. But I would note that this particular mag, which is made by Metgar, again, designed specifically for the P226 SIG pistol, it shot fine with the brass cased ammo. So, I had no problem at all with this Federal, just cheap 115 grain range ammo. However, <clears throat> I had a couple problems with failures to feed with the steel case. And after thinking about it for a while, and quite a few of you guys agreed, I think it was a stacking of like a couple different tolerances, right? The fact that in these 20 round Metgar mags, they use the same spring in them as they do the 18 round. So basically this is an 18 round mag body with a plus two floor plate. And what that does is it kind of makes it where the spring tension is going to be a little bit less, right? Just simply because you've got a longer body overall with this plus two floor plate and the same amount of spring so I think it has a little bit weaker spring pressure and this is kind of obvious it has weaker spring pressure just by the fact when you're loading the rounds and one of these Metgar mags it's like really easy compared to the stock OEM mags and if you guys have ever tried the difference you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and then added with the fact that steel case can cause a little bit more friction inside the magazine and these new Metgars don't really have the the shiny smooth blued finish like the OEM mag and like how the older mech guards do there's just a little bit more texture in these mags I mean they're pretty smooth but not quite as smooth as the blued so I think once you added all three things together you know with a little stacking of tolerances if you will it was causing a little failure to feed problem so what I decided to do to get this mag back on track and I really hope this is gonna help guys I bought a new magazine spring from Wolf Springs. So here's what I bought. Stock number 79741. And this is a spring that's specifically for the SIG P226 Metgar mag. 20 rounds if we're using the 9mm, which is what we have right here. And it also specifies 5% extra power. So what I'm going to do right now is get this opened up and we're going to swap the spring out. So this is just a little tip that might help you guys and I will definitely be shooting this gun soon and I'll report back to you guys and let you guys know if this spring does any improvement. So far the spring looks good. I will notice a similar shape to the OEM um, Metgar spring. It's kind of weird how they do this. You start off with the links, the coils, closer to one another. Then as it progresses towards the top of the mag they get smaller and or larger and larger rather. Also, if you look at the size of the opening here, how small it is, and then flip it around the other end, you'll see it's like twice as big around. So, kind of a weird mag. It's not linear like a lot of mag springs. So, I'm going to take this mag, take it apart. I'm going to take off my bloody wheels. Uh, grip piece here. My little extension, you know, filler plate. And I did a video on this just about a week ago, so... You guys can go back and look at this. This will tell you all about this little piece. But so far, I really like this, by the way. So how you take these mags apart is a little different than some. There's basically a little lever here on the back, on the bottom. And we're going to pull up on this lever, right? Now, by pulling up on this lever, it's easier to do upside down. See? It comes down about a half an inch. Now, the floor plate. I'm going to slide that forward. Now, before you get it all the way off, though, make sure you get your other finger right here ready to capture that spring because if you just let it go the spring and floor plate could go flying across the room or into your computer screen so now that we have the tension relieved we're going to take this off and there's the general idea of how it's going to go together so we have our follower here and our floor plate here right so I'm going to grab the new spring I'll try to do as much as I can on camera guys it's just a little a little difficult sometimes. Alright. 
So I'm going to basically orient this the same as the other one is with this curly part of the spring up and then up on this one. Now, it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt. This isn't just going to come off. We have to fish it through and kind of wrap it around the spring, okay? So we're going to get it to this point right here. And I'm just going to kind of pull off, and there we go. I finally got it to go off the end. So I'm going to come back here in the same position. Start it right here. Bring it around. Something like that. So that can just hang there for now. And our floor plate's on. Now I'm going to come up to the follower. Let's see there. See if the screen will show that. And I'll note that it's kind of hooked into the side of it a little bit here. See that? So I'm going to grab a little pick that I have here to be able to pull it out. I'm just going to kind of gently stretch this piece here to pull it out of the little recess that it's in. Okay, that, that popped out. Oops. The follower is now off. And I'm going to note the position of the spring with the little hook going down and away, like towards the back of the magazine. Same thing here, I'm gonna try to fish it back through this little hole. It's a little bit finicky here. Hmm, it might go on a little different, guys. I just noticed something different. This is a true unboxing for you. So this is the wolf spring right here, you'll note. See how the end of the spring just comes straight? Okay, now this is a little bit different because the OEM spring goes straight down and then there's an extra hook piece that goes into this little hole right here. So whereas the original, you have to kind of fish this little, this little dog leg, this little hook through the hole, that piece isn't on the wolf spring. So... Um, since there's since it's missing a piece I'm gonna assume this is the way it's designed and there's nothing defective about this mag here there's just it's simply missing that extra dog like I guess this is just gonna set on here with a with a friction fit I mean I guess once the mags put together it should be fine right so I'm gonna put that back through here yeah this is kind of weird guys like I said I wasn't this is a true unboxing I didn't know until I literally opened it up, but the geometry of the springs are slightly different. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to line everything up here. I want this L portion of the floor plate to be towards the back of the mag. I'm already noticing a substantial amount more tension with this mag than the other one. Like, quite a bit more. So I'm going to keep that capture, because if I let go, it's going to go flying and break my computer screen, right? It's actually hard to hold this in place with one finger like substantially more more pressure on this new mag than the old one I'll tell you guys that right now okay I just took it off camera a little bit all I did is just simply slid the floor plate over right and the little keeper portion is now locked in the down position so if we want to remove it we're just gonna simply push down like this right just like how I took it off but in this case we want it to go right back in so there we go so yeah Kind of weird, guys. I'm just giving you a true unboxing, but right away I'm noticing substantially more tension on this follower, like probably twice as much. So, so far, pretty cool, right? So I'm going to put my grip sleeve back on here. Fits nice, right in place. And let's see. Okay. Box open on an empty mag, as it should. Now the mag release all of a sudden is really, really stiff, guys. <laughs> Actually more stiff than what the OEM Taurus mags are. And I showed this in my initial review of this gun where I was like, wow, this is really hard to close this slide using the mag release on an empty Taurus mag. Because the ones that come with the gun, very, very stiff spring. Now, with this original spring that came with the Metgar 20 round mag, it was easy. I could just barely flick my thumb and not a problem, right? But now that I'm using this actual proper spring that's made for the 20 round mag and that has 5% extra pressure, 
I'm definitely noticing a difference. I mean, watch this, guys. How easy I can release this mag with no mag in it. How easy I can release this slide. Just barely push down, okay? Now, with this new plus pressure 20 round mag, this new whoop spring, rather, I can no longer just brush it down. I have to really push. So, this is a good thing, though, I think, because I would note the Taurus mags that were field and steel case, like a champ, no problem. They're really hard to push down, too. They're really hard to get the rounds in, and it's a lot harder to actuate this slide release. So, I think this is actually a good thing, guys, that I have to use quite a bit more pressure on the release. I mean, I can do it, don't get me wrong. I just have to put a little more effort into it, right? So, yeah. I guess it's pretty easy. Even though we're missing that little extra hook, I guess that's nothing to be worried about. That extra little dog leg that comes down, I guess just, just it's sitting in the little pocket that's in the bottom of the follower, since it's all retained by the mag body, I think that's going to be just fine. I mean, there's nowhere for it to go. It can't wiggle side to side. It obviously can't come flying out of the top. Unless you got some serious feed lip damage, but yeah, let's see what happens here. I'm going to start off by loading a couple rounds by hand and see if I can notice a difference. I'll use some of this brass case fragile. Yeah, even on the first round, huge difference, guys. I mean, this this Metgar mag spring, it's clearly obvious to me that this was meant for the 18 round mag. And I really wish Metgar would have put a spring with a couple extra coils when they sell it to you with this plus two extension. Because this isn't even close. I mean, there's clearly significantly more pressure now that I've added this spring. And this wolf spring is probably about two and a half, three inches longer than the one that came from Metgar. So I'm going to load a couple more rounds by hand just to make myself suffer. And just to show you guys, it's definitely doable. It's just, you know, there's more pressure. It's kind of hard to portray it on camera, but just trust me. It's... This spring's a noticeable difference. Now I'm going to grab my Bloody Wheels mag loader that I just showed in a previous video. With these longer mags, it's kind of easier just to do off my chest. So I'm going to push down. See if we can get 20 rounds in this. You know, I'm kind of excited about this little, um, this little wolf spring upgrade here. You know, I've always had good luck with wolf springs in the past. They have a very good reputation. So, it might be something you guys want to check on. Now, if you're looking for these wolf springs, keep in mind they spell wolf a little bit different. It's W-O-L-F-F. -F -F. So, wolf with an extra F. And this mag load is sure coming in handy because I'm definitely feeling the increased pressure now that we're getting close. We got 17 in there so far, guys. 18. 19. And let's try the 20th. Wow, yeah, just like the Taurus 12 round mag. You guys know what I mean, right? When you go to get that 12th round in there, it's like almost all you can do to get it in there, right? This is no different. 20 rounds in this sucker, and it's tight. I mean, let me try to see if I can show you this. There's there's literally like no more room to compress. We're completely, completely filled up. So, yeah, I definitely think we're going to notice a big difference here versus this kind of rather weak spring that these Metgar 20 rounders come with. Now look, as far as this extra spring, I'm not going to throw it away because I may go on later and buy one of these Metgar 18 round mags, which again is the same body. It's just going to have a flat floor plate. So it's not going to have this plus two. And this is, by the way, actually labeled. I keep calling it the plus two. You guys can see that there. It literally has what's called a plus two floor plate. So I think this spring's going to work great in an 18 round Metgar, so I'm going to keep the spring around, pick up an 18, and then I'll have a spare spring. Why not? Because let's face it, magazines are semi-disposable, and so are magazine springs, right? So if I were you guys, I wouldn't throw it away. might come in handy, especially if you're going to get an 18 later on. Yeah, let's see what we got going here. Okay, inserts nice. Point the gun in a safe direction. Yeah, I know it looks like it's pointed at you guys, but obviously not. There's no, there's nobody on the other side of this wall, okay? Let's see if it chambers around. And it did, no problem. Chuck that round out of there. Second round, chambered, no problem. 
third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and we're clear. I think I might have crammed 21 in there, guys. What do you think? Maybe that's why it was so stiff. But there you go. <laughs> when you guys are playing through, you might be able to count better than me. But I thought I counted out 20 rounds before this video started. And then I counted 20. And then there was still one more in the pipe that I had to chuck out of there. So you can see we're clear now, guys. We're completely clear in the chamber. And in the magazine. But yeah. It's hard to explain it again, but trust me, this this mag fed with a lot more authority than the than the original spring. So, I'm pretty happy. I really, really, really am hoping and thinking that this is going to help out the feeding issues with the steel case because I don't really think steel case is the problem, guys. Steel case has been running like butter through these 12 round mags, not even a problem. And this is with cheap junky Tula ammo, and I say junky in air quotes because hey, I like to shoot Tula. Why not? When we're out having fun at the range, why not shoot cheap ammo? You know, it's expensive. It's expensive to live nowadays. Why, why do you want to waste, you know, hundreds of dollars in ammo just to go have a good time? And, yeah, I do believe that you should train with your training ammo, with your, with your personal protection ammo, rather, you know. So if you're carrying an HST plus P, yeah, shoot some mags with that. Get used to the recoil. Realize how your gun behaves, how hard it is to get it back on target, whatever. But when you're out having fun for the day, this is just me, guys. I'm not an instructor. I'm not anybody that you need to listen to or that you should, right? But when I'm shooting two 300 rounds for the day, I'm not going to shoot two 300 HSTs through my gun or spear gold dots or whatever. No, I'm going to shoot a couple mags with my carry ammo every now and again to make sure that everything's working good with it, make sure that I'm used to the recoil, and then I'm going to shoot cheap range ammo. I'm going to shoot this, you know, Tula or Wolf. Or this Fudgel 115 grain, you know, the famous stuff you can get at Walmart for cheap. So, let's, let's face it, guys. Everyone can't afford to, to shoot, you know, dollar around carry ammo <laughs> every single shot they take. So, it's important to me that my, um, my guns and my magazines will feed cheap ammo, right? So, I think it is to you guys, too. That's why I'm really trying to, you know, explore everything with this gun and... Any little upgrades it may need, but I think we got I think we found a good upgrade here. I'm already really getting some good some good vibes out of this um this wolf spring for this Metgar 20 round mag. So it's amazing how much longer that wolf spring is than this stock one and just how much more tension it has. Nice. So I'm gonna shoot this soon. I'll give you guys a follow-up after I do. A couple other things I have planned to talk about this gun in the near future too, so Guess what I get to do next, guys? I get to go all over around my desk and under my floor and behind me and pick up all those rounds. But hopefully you guys found it worth it. And I hope this Wolf um, Magazine Spring Upgrade will help you guys. All right. Yeah, leave any comments if you guys have had experience with these springs or these, these um, Metgar Seg P226 mags. And let me know what you guys think. But I think this is going to be a good upgrade. And hope it helps you guys out. All right, see, I'm dropping ammo already. I'm going to have fun picking this up, but I'll do that off camera so you guys don't get too bored. All right, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.